Hey everybody, what is up? This is Devin Lavore coming at you late at night. Everybody's going to bed. And uh, I just had some stuff I just wanted to share and talk about and get out there and, and discuss, okay? Um, it's been a really interesting <clears throat> last couple weeks um, me and Michelle obviously we put out a video uh, in reference to where's our life at in regards to what God's doing and our story with what's happening in our lives and and we related it to the uh, boat vision that goes off the waterfall and then sprouts wings right um, the miraculous thing happened. I mean, just a miraculous, unheard of, crazy, weird thing happens, right? But just before that happens, the boat goes off the waterfall and it's suspended in the air just for a briefest second. And then, poof, these wings come out, right? And the boat flies. And that's the cool part, right? But we feel like we're in that suspended place right now, right? The Israelites were in a suspended place once. They had already left and been delivered, honestly, from a destroyed Egypt. The place that held them captive and just did horrible things to them for 400 years, like the Lord told Abraham before he even had one child. He said, this is what's going to happen. You know, God is amazing. He's all-powerful and just he is without limitations you know the only thing he can't do is lie um, but praise the Lord he's good and he's kind and he's awesome and he knows what he's doing and he wants our trust and our cooperation right so that he can work in our lives what he wants to do the full perfect awesome thing that he wants he doesn't necessarily want to give you 30 or 60 he wants to give you 100 fold okay and so they had already committed they i mean they there there was no staying back it was what's so funny about them saying oh let's go back to egypt what egypt that you know when things got hard in the wilderness after god did great miracles it's like what egypt are you talking about it's destroyed you know but anyway they had already committed to be done with Egypt, they'd gone and they traveled, right? But then the enemy started to pursue them again and just, no, let's go grab them and put them back into bondage. Okay? Let's go grab them and put them back into bondage. And so we know the story. They're, they're facing, they've been led. They've been led to the edge of an impassable body of water it's like we can't get past it like what why why have you led us here to the beach you know um and then they see that the uh, enemy is behind them and they're like oh my gosh what is going on and so see i believe that that happens to us in our life you know as Especially when we're trusting in God and we're stepping out in faith and we're following him and we're going after what he's going after and we do we don't take the reins we just let him do what he's gonna do I feel like that's where me and my family are right now but look at look at the nation of Israel they were suspended between what was and what has not yet happened okay and that's just kind of where we're at right now and so in this place it's like imagine uh, Peter stepping out on the water. He steps out and things are going really good. But then he's like, he looks around and for whatever reason he starts, his, his faith is suspended and he sinks. You know, and he, but he calls out to the Lord and the Lord grabs him and delivers him and he's okay. And, but the Lord's like, oh, why did you doubt, man? You were doing amazing. You were doing so good. And I want the Lord to say that to me. I want him to say, man, Dev, you were doing so good. Because 
and I want I want this to be said, you know, but I have really been struggling with freaking out. Um, I am like literally panicking. Now, what if you were in a boat and it literally was, it literally went off the cliff. It didn't even totter. Just that not tottering part should be like, whoa, this is amazing. I'm totally cool. God's got us. This is awesome. Well, no, <laughs> that's not, that's not what I have been dealing with. And we go off the cliff and we're just literally hanging there in the middle of the air. That right there defies everything we know about science and physics and all that stuff, right? That right there should be like, oh, this is great. This is amazing. This is awesome, right? You know, it's like God's de delivered you from all this stuff and he's brought you to this epic uh, stopping point. It's, it's really he's brought you to the miracle point. Do you hear what I'm saying? He's brought you to the miracle point. You just haven't seen the miracle yet. And so you're you're freaking out. Just like uh just like the nation of Israel did. They're freaking out. They're like, oh, what are you doing? What are... you know? And so I'm saying I have been battling with that very, very, very much because it's just like I'm wondering what the Lord's going to do. Is there anyone out there who can understand and relate to what I'm saying? You get to this point and you stepped out to the point of no return. And you just don't know what to do but to just trust God. This trusting God and following God and believing God that's got you this far and he hasn't failed you. Why stop now? You know what I'm saying? And so that's kind of just where I have been lately just wondering god what are you gonna do you know because our financial situation is not any different than it was the last couple weeks but yet here we are still here fed clothed housed taken care of and i'm thinking about the future like but well, what are you gonna do i mean what with this current situation that we have now financially like uh and that's the panic and that I have to I have to literally push that aside. And so what do I do? Well, hold on, let me tell you before I tell you what I do, let me tell you more about what I'm tempted to do. You know, there's a temptation. Like Jesus, he had his temptations before he came out of the wilderness in the power of the spirit, right? And those were real temptations. Let me tell you what the real temptations are to do, guys. And I just pray that you would listen to me. And maybe glean from my life and our family story, if you have any trust in us at all, just listen to this. My desire and my temptation is to, hold on, before I say that, what I feel like God has been leading me to do is to be quiet. Is to be still in the boat of my life that's suspended in the middle of the air. Just shh, don't. Just calm down, buddy. Just be quiet. Just sit still and trust me. So, so that's the command, right? That's the leading of the spirit. That's what he wants me to do. But the temptation in the fear and the panic is to pray and pray harder. Decree. Fast. Praise. Worship. Uh, my mind going crazy with, well, maybe I should try to go do this, or maybe I should try to go do that. Maybe this is the time, maybe this is the time to do this or to do that and to do this. And it's all, here's the problem. I am tapping into myself to figure out how to save myself. Now, there's a couple different words I can use to describe what that is. But I'm going to say it like this. You better be led by the Spirit of God to do all that thing, to do all those things. Because only in the do, being led by the Spirit will you find the blessing on it. If you decide within yourself, well, I'm just going to go do this. Now you're taking the Holy Spirit's hand and you're leading him and saying, come on, do this thing. It doesn't work like that. If anyone can hear me and trust me or, or have any trust in the Lord, you know, take this information to the Lord and see what he says about it. Read your Bible. See what it says about it. You cannot lead the spirit. 
you must be led by the Spirit. And I tell you what, the temptation is so strong to do spiritual gymnastics and acrobatics and, and you know, just try to save myself. But it's like, bro, you're beyond, you're so far beyond saving yourself. You just can't do it. So you have to, so see, that's what you, that's, so that's the temptation. That's the, the grueling jujitsu match I am in with myself. And, and, uh, and so what have I been doing? Well, I've been doing what I always do. <laughs> I go to the Lord with every situation. We have our God times, uh, morning and night after we get up. And before we go to bed, you know, and the Lord has been speaking so amazingly during those times. I mean, amazingly. I came to know the Lord sometime in 1994, summer, late spring, early fall, somewhere in those months. I don't know. And my life was a living H-E double hockey sticks. I mean, it was it was bad. And I just, I was alone. I was miserable. I was demonically tormented. Now I know that. I didn't know it at the time. Um, I was, they say you can't be addicted to marijuana, but I, I was completely dependent on it. It was my idol. You know, it was the only thing that gave me pleasure. And by that time, it didn't even do that for me. Even though I still did it, it didn't do anything for me. It literally didn't. It became normal. And when people do substances, they do substances to get out of the normal and to go off into fantasy world of good feelings. But it didn't do that for me. It was just, it was like eating breakfast. It was like, eh. And so I was just, it was just, I was so emotionally distraught. My future was dark. It was hopeless. It was just like, I just had no. And then the Lord came in. He sought me out. And he came in and he changed my life in a way that to this day, I am sitting here before you as a living, walking testimony of what God can do. Okay. And so I'm making breakfast, making breakfast uh, two mornings ago. And the Lord reminded me of that before and after picture of my salvation. Right. And the Lord said to me, Devin, that is what's getting ready to happen to you. Glory! Mm, mm. Glory to God! Woo! God said that's what's getting ready to happen to you. <laughs> all this torment and all this stuff you're struggling with, all this, God's like, I'm getting ready to step in. I'm getting ready to step into your situation just as I always have said I was going to. You know, Luke 24 44. You know, <clears throat> He's like, I'm going to step in in the same way I did for you. Then I'm going to do again. And it's going to have the same level of before and after. But you're going from a place of obedience and surrender. In the same way Jesus, in a place of obedience and surrender, went to the cross and then was resurrected unto glory. And now here I sit as one of his. You see what I'm saying? So I just feel like as a template, as an example, as a, like, understand this is what I'm getting ready to do. Man, that, that's just one sample of the kind of things God has been sharing with us. I mean, there's been some amazing things God's been sharing with us. It's like, you've come this far, you've come too far to not, to, 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 to listen to people t telling you you're deceived and you've come too far you've come way too far to be torn down God's like God's like you have humbled yourself so I'm going to lift you up so stay humble see the problem with giving in to those temptations that I talked to talked about before is that's me trying to lift myself up and God's like don't do that you know, humble yourself to the point of being in the place that you're in right now, and I will lift you up. Um, and so, yeah, that's just, that's kind of what's been going on. I just wanted to share with you guys some more of the story, some maybe some bonus footage of the story, some details of the story. Um, 
and how the struggle is real, the temptation is real, but so is the promise of God and his word and his faithfulness. And the, the fact that God is just intruding and interrupting so many times in our life right now. And it's so welcome. Because, you know, when you think of intrusion and interruption, those are not positive words. But when God is doing it, it is like best thing ever. You know, it's like it's like your your best friend just suddenly knocking on your door and you're like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> And so, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's just like, there has been a major struggle, um, and we're living in it, but we also know and believe that God is going to do some amazing things, and there is going to be a dynamic, amazing, blessed end to this story that's going to launch us into the, the next story however God wants to do it, whenever God wants to do it, and with who, through who, however he's going to do it, he's just going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so it's kind of like a testimony before anything even happens. And I um, just wanted to share that with you guys. And in the, uh, in the event that, uh, in the hope that it would encourage you, you know, because... We are in a very, very interesting place. We've not been here. We've not been to this place before. You know, not for a very long time, but it's a, it's a different now because we've come so far. And so, very interesting stuff going on. So, uh, to be continued, yeah? And so we hope and pray that you guys are doing well. And that you continue to believe. John 11, 40. Keep believing and you will see the glory of God. And there will be healing in the revealing. There will be a reversing of the cursing. Amen. <laughs> and so, um, yes. So, we here in the Lavore household, um, bless you guys. Thank you guys. And we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.